Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be good for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you are cross-watching, dealing with a Taurus, these messages may resonate with you as well. I'm gonna pick up on you and your person, the person that you're dealing with energy. So this is gonna be for those Tauruses who are definitely dealing with someone. You don't have to be in a relationship, um, but you definitely have someone on your mind. So let's pick up on your energy and their energy. Also, um, just take what side resonates. So I could be talking to you, or you may resonate more on one side than the other side. So just take which side resonates and not every message is going to be your message. So <clears throat> there's some changes happening for sure in this connection. There's some big changes happening. I feel like um, for some of you, you're, you're in a third party situation. Um, either you saw someone with someone else, you saw your person with someone else, or this is vice versa. Whoever caught the other person with another individual or in a relationship or um, left someone for another situation, there's definitely energy here of no one compares to you. So whoever is in that space is now having regrets. Um, they're having a very difficult time letting you go. And they're really in a space of wishing that they treated you better. Okay, take this how it resonates. It could be vice versa. But I do see a lot of changes happening. So let's take a look. Let's start with you. Mm. Let's start with you, Taurus. What are you thinking about? Some of you are trying to focus on your finances, and we will clarify all of these, but some of you are really trying to focus on your finances. Um, some of you are thinking about a marriage. Um, now, whether you're married, this person's married, or this is someone that you could see that happily ever after with, some sort of stability. Um, and there's definitely an energy here of kind of being trapped in your head thinking about this. Trapped in your head thinking about this. Um, I feel like some of you may be dealing with someone who is wealthy or well off um, and that person is on your mind. Um, could be another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. How do you feel towards your person? Or they could have that in their chart, right? How do you feel towards your person, Taurus? How do you feel? Whew. <clears throat> you hold this person in a high regard, Taurus. You really do. You hold this person um, in a high regard. You feel like this person is like your main your main person. I feel like there's definitely a long journey that you've experienced with this person. You may feel like you've uh, went through a lot with this individual. Um, I'm hearing this person may have stuck by your side through it all, or this could be you. Um, but there is some sort of unexpected change happening. So let's continue so that we can get to clarifying. Let's see, how do you view your person? How do you view your person? Some of you view your person as um, in a space of deep regret, despair, um, a missed opportunity. Some of you view your person, they, you may have received some sort of communication from this individual in regards to feeling like it's too hard to let you go or they wish they would have treated you better or no one compares to you, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Um, but you, view, you definitely view them as in in a bad space um some of you could be at a distance from this person okay some of you you view them as they have another and they have another person here okay um and they're not meeting your expectations is what i'm getting let's take a look at your person and then we'll start clarifying um what are they thinking about Ooh, they have a choice to make could be between two people um but also they're thinking about your guys's connection they're thinking about how strong your guys' connection is. Um, interesting. Okay. How do they feel towards Taurus? How do they feel towards Taurus? Marriage. <laughs> Marriage. Message. Um, this person, again, you could be dealing with someone who is married or in another situation. Or this could be you. Someone here is definitely married. Um, but they feel like they want to reach out to you. This person wants to send you some sort of love message, uh, which is interesting because you view them as sending you a message. So a lot of you have already received this. Uh, if you haven't, you will soon. 
How do they view you, Taurus? Great fortune and concern. Okay, so they view you as... You guys have a lot going for yourselves. Uh, you could definitely be in this. This could be your energy, this wealthy man. Uh, very much so focused on work. Focused on your abundance or they view you as very abundant. But also concerned so let's we'll clarify that and see what's the mutual energy between the two of you mutual energy for taurus mutual energy main female you may find out that someone has um some health issues here in your near future it may have caused some some conflict in this connection but i feel like mutually there's an energy here of someone focusing on another individual their main person or the person that they're married to or in a commitment with and it's challenging your connection right now yeah they feel trapped whoever that is feels trapped to that situation so i am seeing that now for some of you you may be dealing with someone who is um incarcerated because i do see that here as well what's the outcome what's the outcome child could be children involved here some of you may be having a child but i do see in the outcome there's some sort of influence uh by a child here so let's start clarifying these okay taurus let's see what else is going on with your person these cards do not want to come up oh my gosh okay Okay, Taurus. See what is going on in this connection. We just had two cards fly out. So we have the Six of Pentacles and Death. So yeah, I definitely feel like someone, one, like I said before, there are some big changes happening in this connection. Um, and two, somebody's definitely giving to another situation. Uh, you may find out that this person's trying to keep tabs on you, spying on you. You could be dealing with a cancer. Or this is that change. There's a lot of forward movement coming in for you guys. So let's see. On your mind, you're thinking about, um, I feel like this is your career, a sense of stability. Um, but you could also be thinking about somebody else who is very well off or very stable, very independent is what I'm getting. Okay, so let's see. What are you thinking about, Taurus, when it comes to this connection? What are you thinking about? Yeah, Five of Cups. A missed opportunity. Two of Cups with a very strong connection that you have with this person. Could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer. Um, but you're definitely thinking about a missed opportunity here. Four of Swords. A lot of you are in separation with this person currently. Um... Okay, and that's why that, that card is here that flew out. It's too hard to let you go. So you may be thinking about it's very difficult for you to let go of this individual. A lot of you may be waiting for something, uh, waiting for communication. But there's a lack of clarity here. So you may feel very confused when it comes to what has transpired between the two of you in the past and what this connection really means and what it is, right? So let's see. How do you feel? Yeah, a lot of you are taking stock of the past, thinking about um, where you invested your time, maybe what you could have done differently, etc. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Oh, and you may have just walked away. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So how do you feel towards this person, Taurus? How do you feel towards this person? You feel like you've... Uh, some of you, again, are at a distance from this person, but you feel like you've been on a long journey with this individual and you held them in high regard. I feel, I feel that very strong. But you may have received some sort of communication or something that came through maybe in regards to a third party situation that really made you see things in a different light and be more guarded against this person and release it and put yourself in this single energy. Walk away, okay? Let's see, what is this high honor card? How do you feel towards this person? <clears throat> Five of Pentacles and the Magician. So I feel like 
you guys, this person makes you feel left out or like rejected in a lot of ways. I feel like you've held this person in high regard and take this how it resonates. It could be vice versa, but I feel like this person makes you feel left out. You guys may have been trying to manifest something uh, within the connection uh, coming together, but ultimately I feel like there's definitely an energy here of walking away. Now you view them as now they regret their decision and you may have received communication from this person. And if you haven't, you will soon. So how do you view this person? What is this despair? Ooh. Page of Swords. Oh, just kidding. Eight of Swords. Let me grab that real quick. Eight of Swords and that's that energy again of feeling trapped to something, right? Trapped to something, trapped to a situation, stuck. I feel like if this person is definitely, if they're the one in a commitment or something like that, they're definitely stuck um, or f feel very stuck in that connection. You may view them as just being very unhappy in a situation that they're stuck in as well. Okay, what is this message of concern for Taurus? What is this message that they're going to receive from this person? The hangman. Could be dealing with the Pisces. King of Pentacles. The, the message here ace of wands <laughs> the message that you're going to receive from this individual is the fact that they can't let this go is the fact that they're starting to see things from a different perspective and they want they want to offer you something stable taurus all right let's take a look on their side we have the lovers that's what they're thinking about the person knows they need to make a decision in something they do think about how strong your connection is now for some of you you may have met this person through work or work could be involved in one way or another. Why is the lovers here for Taurus? Ace of Swords. So they're thinking about some sort of clarity, some sort of truth. That's what I'm talking about, that message. Uh, Ten of Swords, the, the ending between the two of you, the painful ending between the two of you, and Page of Wands, communication, I'm telling you. That's what they're thinking about. And judgment, they want a second chance. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Uh, that's what I see so far. So uh, let's take a look. How do they feel towards you? Someone here really wants to send you a message and it could be in regards to a marriage. Why is this marriage card here? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, someone could be coming out of a marriage and single. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work together. They want to build something with you. Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to you. Your energy is really strong in this reading. There's a lot of earth energy here. Seven of Cups. Um, this person feels like they need to make a decision here. They want to work and build something with you, but there's definitely an energy here of needing to be single and wanting to communicate that with you. What is this message? How do they feel towards you? What is this message? The Emperor, <laughs> the Emperor, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, wow. Could be dealing with an Aries, there could be an age difference between the two of you, or this person could just have that energy, right, where they're just very um, dominant in control, or they're wanting to take control back of the situation. This has been a long time coming with the Knight of Pentacles, and on your side, the Journey card. You guys both feel like you guys have been going through this for a very long time. Um, and this person feels like it's time for them to take control and send a message or make a decision here. How do they view you? They view you as concerned. What are you concerned about? King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? What are you concerned about? Six of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, yeah, Queen of Wands. Uh, fire. Okay, so... What they view you as you're concerned over, I'm hearing the drama between you and the other person. So there's definitely two energies here. Um, could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Fire. So a little bit of everything here, but there's definitely a concern when it comes to cutting someone off here, who you're cutting off and who you're giving your energy to. So that's how they, they're viewing you. What is this great fortune card? 
death. They view you as going through a transformation here. And the lovers, look at that. So there's definitely, it could be done with a Gemini. There's definitely a very strong connection between you and this person, Scorpio as well. Um, between you and this person, okay? But they view you as, there's some sort of transformation here. You may have left this person. I do see the Four of Swords, or I did earlier, the Eight of Cups, there's the Five of Pentacles. There's a lot of energy here of you walking away and this taking a long time to come into fruition. What is this uh, mutual energy? Someone wants to be the main person here. Seven of Swords in reverse. So wanting to come out of that deceitful energy, wanting to come forward and be honest. The Star and the Six of Wands, wanting a victory, wishing for a victory in this connection but what's challenging you guys is someone's trapped to something else could be dealing with an aquarius why is the imprisonment card challenging this connection ace of wands because it's blocking you guys from having a new beginning let's take a look at uh in the outcome you have the child card why is this here for the outcome for taurus king of wands now you have the king and queen of wands this is a very passionate connection you have with this individual some of you are dealing with a twin flame connection that will not be for everyone um knight of wands okay so what's prevented this connection from moving forward in the past unfortunately for a lot of you is going to be involving a child okay maybe this person feels guilty or the fact that they're in a marriage or something like that it's really prevented this connection from moving forward and in your outcome there's an energy here of coming out of that taking action, offering something stable. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So let's take a look. Um, let's get some more cards. Taurus. What can you tell me for Taurus and this person? It will take time. Yeah. I feel like it has taken a lot of time. Necessary separation. Mm-hmm. I do feel like you guys are in separation, but there will be some sort of conversation happening soon. True friendship. You and this person definitely have a very strong connection, and it may have started off as a friendship. Ready to make a change? Yeah, someone here is getting ready to make some sort of change here, and it brings a lot of happy happiness here, something that one of you or both of you have been wishing for. Um, I do feel like for those of you who are in separation with this person, you're feeling very isolated and alone heartbroken even um and they're saying this is worth a second chance someone's preparing for a union here okay so keep an open mind if you are if you are wanting this to come back together is what i'm getting um let's pull some messages for what this person wants to say to you taurus what does this person want to say to you taurus I am becoming a better person. We will be together again. You and I were too young. Interesting. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Some of you really bond with this person through music. So this says you speak to me through music. What else do they want to tell Taurus? I replay our conversations over and over. I'm even getting like I'm seeing a vision of someone even like rereading conversations over and over again um, in this connection. So one of you could be doing that or both of you. I want to take a look and see what else is going on with this person because it seems like they think about moving forward. Oh no, my card is stuck to my deck. That's interesting. They, it's like they think they've been thinking about moving forward for a long time, but I want to see what's been preventing it. Obviously, um, for a lot of you, it's marriage, child, commitment, something like that. But I want to see what else comes up for Taurus. What is this person maybe not saying right now? Okay. So, some of you, this person fears their person, whoever's in a relationship, <laughs> this sounds so bad, whoever's in a relationship, they fear that their person is going to catch them and make them cut you off. So there's definitely an energy here of someone maybe pulling back their energy because of that. Um, you do make this person feel rejected at times. I feel like this person has a hard time thinking that they're good enough for you. Also, for some of you, this person has a lot, like a lot going on in the outside 
I was going to say in the outside world, but outside of your connection with this person, they have a lot going on. Maybe some things that you don't even know about. Okay. And sometimes they may pull back their energy because of that. So some of you, this person may have straight up ghosted you. Okay. And it may have been very difficult for this person to do that, even though they may have ghosted you. It's like a feeling of they think it's for the best because they are not good enough for you. And that's why they have, I'm becoming a better person and some sort of realization of uh, your guys' connection. Okay. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like the, the energy that I'm feeling from this person, or this could be you, Taurus. <sighs> my past experiences made it difficult for me to open up, to my, open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. See, I feel like this person feels like you are way too good for them in a lot of ways um so it really caused them to pull back their energy a bit at times okay um or they may have had fears of leaving a connection or a commitment to try to work things out with you out of fear that it wasn't going to work out because you're too good for them is what i'm getting it's very interesting um let's do a card of advice for you guys taurus why not Let's see, what is uh, advice for Taurus? Taurus, what is the advice for Taurus? What is the advice? Go outside. All right. Whew. Okay, so you got a couple of different things here. So um, first one was go outside. Maybe some of you have been indoors for too long or you're going through this period of time of, um, I just heard depression or you're, you're just feeling like you need to be isolated. Uh, so they're saying go outside. Spend time outside, uh, go outdoors, get some fresh air. Purification. So there's an energy here or a very strong message of it's time for some sort of cleansing, uh, detox, your body and your mind. So going through some sort of detox. And true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So there is some sort of change here happening for you guys um it's going to bring in a lot of happiness so hang in there guys <laughs> um make sure you like share subscribe leave me a comment let me know if this resonated i hope this brought some clarity to your guys' situation sending you guys love and light bye